ask for your reaction to what's happening around J.K. Rowling. You know, Quidditch gets renamed and she's airbrushed out of Harry Potter history. Well, what's happening is we are burning the witch. Uh, that's what's happening. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, misogyny and sexism uh, floating around these parts. And um, unfortunately for J.K. Rowling, like most of the country, she thinks that women don't have penises. She thinks that woman is not an ugly word and that we should be allowed to say woman when we mean woman. And for that devastating crime, she has to be cancelled, even from her own art, which is frankly repulsive. Um, I, look, she's a very nice woman. I wouldn't be quite so kind to the people who are erasing. Uh, if I had that much money, I'd be suing left, right and centre, a few copyrights here, copyrights there. And I'd certainly be um, much more vocal. But she's being very dignified and restrained. Sam Dowler, who are people who menstruate? People who menstruate, well, they are women. Um, and this is, this is the, the problem. What we're talking about here is that she isn't... This isn't about sexism. It's not about misogyny. It's about... Um, the choices that she's made uh, to wade into what is a completely toxic argument at the moment. And her problem here is that I think she she's transphobic without realising she is transphobic. What she's doing is uh, she's conflating um, sexual criminals with trans women. And by doing so, she is therefore putting them further at risk and alienating not just her own fans, but clearly Warner Brothers and the actors who appeared in the, t in, in the films that she's created herself. But, Sam, uh, doesn't the yeah. idea that uh, a, a male that identifies as a female that rapes someone, that, that they get classified as woman, doesn't that sort of represent the extreme aspect of gender ideology mm. and why someone's got to call it out? No, I agree. And I, and I think that um, at the end of the day, this, this story was about um, suspects, not rapists. Uh, we're talking about people who have been accused. So, um, you know, and it's about them self-identifying, etc. And all the police did was say that they would respect that right. And obviously, she has taken umbrage against this, which she has done many, many times over. And... Um, and by doing so, she once again places herself, places herself at the centre of this argument, whereby she is um, in the wrong, and she is, and she's, and she's coming across as transphobic. And and also, it's like it's it's so sad because there are so many um, kids who have grown up loving um, Harry Potter, myself included, and um, and by. And by saying the things that she has said and getting involved in a conversation that really, I don't know why she is doing it, she's single-handedly destroying her own legacy. And, of course, Warner Brothers and the actors who are in the, in, in the films want to distance themselves from her because um, I, I, I honestly don't know what she's doing. What is she doing, Kelly J. Keane? Why has she waded into this debate? Yeah, why would a woman actually want to stand up for women's rights? Why would a woman not want uh, men who call themselves women to be recorded as committing male crimes. Um, when, Sam, we talk about... Uh, when she corrected the whole idea uh, with the Orwell little bit that she did, what she was talking about was the idea that men who call themselves women, uh, which I take it you might call them trans women, are actually being accused of rape. So we are talking about rapists, unless we don't do the whole um, I believe her and, and actually we don't believe women even when they talk about rape. But she's standing up for women's rights. This is not an attack on trans rights. She's been very kind about people that call themselves trans. This is about saying that women are a unique category of human and we are allowed to have private spaces. We are allowed our own language. We are allowed to make sure that our crime statistics don't inc include men uh, who rape women. We're allowed to say that women in prison are allowed to shower without male rapists showing them uh, themselves naked in the shower. And if those women call those men men, they get more time on their prison sentence. So um, I'm, I'm surprised more women aren't speaking up, but JK Rowling is leading the way and more women I'm sure will follow. I mean, what is it that JK Rowling has said that's so controversial? I mean, is it transphobic, Sam, to say that only women have a cervix? No. Well, 
it's not transphobic, but it isn't true. A trans man can have a cervix. A trans man can have a child and a baby. And um, so these these are. I mean, obviously, this is we, we you know we're getting into semantics, but at the same but at the same time, um, what she's doing is she's being part and parcel with erasure of you know gender non-conforming people, and of and by always bringing it back to crime, it is therefore again rem like. You're, she's conflating sexual predators and criminals with trans women. And of course, uh, trans women are, you know, some of the most vulnerable members of society. So again, here we are talking about rapists in the same sense as trans women. And this is what she has done. And this is why people say she's transphobic. And this, is, this isn't this is to do with feminism. I mean, like women's rights um, are not in conflict with trans rights at all. They so, are 100%. They are 100% they are, in conflict. No, they're not, Kelly, they are not at all. Are. And it is, and it is a shame. It is a, a and woman, the, the no, fact, the, no. The fact that, the fact no. that Warner what, Brothers the and, and these huge companies want to distance themselves from her is because of this. It's because no, they've got no backbone. The, Warner Brothers have got no backbone and no cervix. The bottom line is these great corporations are so terrified, Sam, of the woke trans lobby. No, it isn't a woke trans lobby. It's to do with vulnerable people. It's to do with fans of Harry Potter. She has... I don't know why she is getting involved in it again. Are people threatening to kill again, J.K. And... Rowling vulnerable? Sorry, say again? Are the, are the people threatening to kill J.K. Rowling uh, vulnerable? I don't think so. Well, of they course, sound of pretty course, militant to me. that is appalling. And again, now you're, now you're saying that all all trans women are threatening J.K. Rowling for the most of the part, as, as MPs have said in the MPs have said in the past. The majority of the people that threaten them are straight males. So I mean, this is this is again, as I said, we are dragging this through the mud again. And trans women, all they want to do is be left alone to live their lives, not not sucked into this argument about how they are potentially criminals. Somebody puts a wig on and goes raping somebody is a criminal. They aren't a trans woman. Oh, so suddenly, if they identify as women at the point of being arrested under suspicion of rape, they're no no longer trans women. Um, Sam, do do teenage girls have the right to use uh, changing rooms without adult males in those changing rooms? People that you would call trans women, of course, of course, of course they do. They do have yeah, the a right. Trans, a, a, a trans a trans woman is so you're so you're saying that somebody who has been through the entirety of transitioning and wants to use a female toilet and go so they're still so they, they aren't women. Well, for a start, it's a very small number, and no, I don't think any man can ever become a woman at all. Um, I, I, I'm just very clear on that. But most so what about, men so what about have a trans no man with a with a Wait, cervix? Sorry, who, so are you saying that they have to most... use female toilets as well? No, I'm saying that women are more vulnerable and therefore women have the right to have female-only space. If some women identify as men and want to use men's spaces, that's entirely up to them. They don't pose a threat to those Kevin men. Kevin Jay, that's, that's double standards, isn't it? No, it's talking about the fact that there are 12,000 sexual predators in male prisons and the whole population of females in prison is 3,000. So we are talking about a population... We know that men are, are much more likely to be violent and commit the sexual assault than women. Let's not, let's not pretend that we don't know these things. Up until five minutes ago, that was something that was completely uh, OK to say, that actually men are more violent, and they pose much more of a threat to women than women do to men. So but Kelly J, we're, we're, to... we're talking about a tiny minority of trans people who might turn out to be awful violent which are, a tiny, which are a tiny minority yeah. themselves. Well, it's a tiny minority of men that rape women, and yet we still that's don't like, want that's men like in the All states. Muslims are terrorists, for goodness sakes. No, that no. We're talking about biological exactly sex. Exactly the same thing. So have, it's, it's not exactly. A belief system is not exactly the same as biological sex. That's a very silly thing to say. What well, we're talking about is we're talking about the fact that men are more likely to commit violent crime against women than other women. No one's so denying that's why that. We need, well, then that's why women need female space more than it's so it's not okay for women who call themselves men to go in men's spaces. Yes, I know, but the, you, I mean, the, the people who you're talking about, these criminals, are they, they probably aren't even trans women at all, but they, they're just opportunists. So therefore, you're, you're, you're tarring them all with the same brush, which is ridiculous. Like the, That's like 99% of trans women, basically, are, are going to, aren't allowed to use female toilets because 1% of 
people might be a criminal. It's ridiculous. No, that's saying trans women aren't allowed to use female toilets because 100 percent of them are men. That's why they're but not they, allowed to use female toilets. Well, that's, well, that is ridiculous gender critical views that are, you are very... You, you, I'm not gender women, critical. Most women I don't, just believe, most women don't believe that. The government doesn't believe that. So you're in the minority there. Actually, the government does. When it comes to being able to inherit a title, the government is very clear on who is a man and who is a woman. You cannot transition into inheritance. So let's not... Look, people What's in that power... What's what we're talking about? Things. You just said the government. That's quite clearly the, the government, the, the, right? I'm saying the government allows trans women to use to use the toilet where they where they feel they they where they gender identify. There are no, there are no rights on trans uh, uh, people using toilets. Final thought on this, Sam. What about those numpties, the uh, second-rate actors from the Harry Potter movies, who have made millions as a result of the genius of J.K. Rowling, who have thrown that poor woman under the bus? Well, I completely support them. They're absolutely correct. Um, why would they? Enumptics. Why would they want to? Why they would they be support, to support somebody who is who is marginalising vulnerable people? Which is what she's doing. Well, of course they don't. Of course they don't respect that. Or and like and they've all distanced themselves from her, as have Warner Brothers, and it's completely the right thing to do. If it wasn't for her, they'd be doing adverts for anal warts. <laughs> yeah. Adverts, by the way, that I've. I've turned down. Kelly J. Keen, uh, what are your thoughts about the treatment of J.K. Rowling by those who have made millions on her behalf? It's despicable. And it's very interesting that the lovely Roman Polanski has not received such a cancelling uh, for his um, crimes and the fact that he won't go and be tried for those crimes, which is uh, sexual assault and rape against a minor. So it's very interesting. I mean, it is because this woman has a cervix uh, that she is being targeted and she is being no, cancelled. That isn't, that isn't really, why at all. That isn't why at all. It totally I mean, is. It is. There are many men that have said things very similar, if not... I mean, you yourself, uh, back in 2010, used a, a slur against trans people and you haven't been cancelled. And yet here is J.K. Rowling, one of the most beloved authors that literally got millions of was, children across the world in, to read. That was, in, that was in 2012, where it was part Thank of the you. queer vernacular to use that word, and everybody has completely agreed well, with no, that. It's so I mean, it's ridiculous. And it's so a ridiculous thing to bring up at this point. Well, no one's getting cancelled on my watch. I'm a huge fan of both of you.